Dear students, in this video, we will learn about linear time invariant system. A system is said to be linear time invariant system or LTI system if it is linear as well as time invariant. That is linear plus time invariant. Both this property it has to satisfy. So, what is a linear system? A system is said to be linear if it follows the superposition property and what is a time invariant system a system is said to be time invariant system if for some input time shift it produces or it causes the same time shift in the output signal then it is said to be a time invariant system so we have already learned in our previous lectures about time invariant system first of all i will explain briefly because i have already made a video on time invariant system let me explain very briefly so suppose it is a system and it has some transfer function t and it has some input x of t and it has some output y of t okay so if any delay in input that is suppose x of t minus t naught so this t naught is the time delay if any delay amount of t naught in input produces the same delay in the output then it is called as the time invariant system that is y of t minus t naught we have to consider two property so first of all let us understand what is a linear system a system is said to be a linear system if it follows the superposition property this means the addition of the individual response of the system should be equivalent to the combined input signal response so let me explain this suppose this is a system with transfer function capital t okay suppose we give some input x of t and we have some output y of t okay this output is the transfer function multiplied with the input so suppose now we give two different inputs x1 of t and x2 of t so what will be the output so suppose for this input x1 of t the output is y1 of t so this will be equal to t multiplied with x1 of t because this is the system response t for the second input suppose we have the output is y2 of t okay so what will be the y2 of t t multiplied with x2 of so this will be t x2 of t now for this system if we give this x1 of t as an input it produces y1 of t as the output okay and at the second time suppose separately we have given this input and we have given another input x2 of t to the system and it produces some output y2 of t that is denoted by this now we have to see if we give both this input signal at the same time to the system so what will be the output response so what will have y equal to t of inputs are given at the same time x1 of t plus x2 of t okay so this is the transfer function capital t so these two input signals are given at the same time so what will be the output so this is the output so if this is equal to y1 of t plus y2 of t then this is called as the additivity property if this combined input signals produces similar kind of output that is the combined output y is equal to the individual sum of output then this is called as the additivity property first of all we have seen this is additivity property that means for a system to be linear system it has to follow two conditions one is the additivity property so we have seen this is the additivity property and the second condition is it is it has to follow the homogeneity property the second condition for a linear system is homogeneity or we can say that it is scaling scaling property so what is the scaling property or what is the homogeneity the transfer function multiplied with some time scaling factor a x so it will produce a y so if it produce the same amount of time scaling so this is the scalar quantity this a is nothing but a scalar quantity here a is a scalar 
quantity. If we get the same scaling at the output, then it is called as the homogeneity property. Suppose this is number 1 and this is number 2 equation. Now combining equations 1 and 2. So combining equations 1 and 2, what we'll have? We'll have here T of, suppose A1 X1 of T plus a2 x2 of t we have applied the additivity as well as scaling property at the same time this should be equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 so you have got this so this is as a whole this is called as the linearity property or we can say that this is the superposition property so here a1 and a2 these two are the arbitrary scalar quantity so for the time inference property we have already seen in our previous lectures please go through it okay so in the case of time invariance we have seen that time shift okay at input produces or causes same time shift at the output now let me explain this with some examples so let me take one example example number one we have a system output denoted by y of t is equal to 2x of t so this is the first example suppose we have the input output relationship is this one y of t is equal to 2x of t now for input x1 of t what will be the output suppose the output is y1 of t so this will be equal to using this equation 2x1 of t if we have another input x2 of t so what will have the output is suppose y2 of t so what will have 2x2 of t t now if we add these two outputs that is y1 and y2 so what will happen y1 of t plus y2 of t is equal to so what will have 2x1 of t plus 2x2 of t so this we can write as 2 if we take common what will have x1 of t plus x2 of t this 2 is nothing but this is the transfer function here because we have the in output is y of t and input is x of t so we can say that so we can write it as t whole into x1 of t plus x2 of t so this given system has followed the linearity property or the superposition property so this is called as the linear system therefore the system is linear so for linear time inference system we have to check whether the system is linear as well as we have to check whether the system is time invariant now we will check the time invariance property for time inference property we have to put some delay in input therefore delay in input by t naught so we have assumed that delay in input we have t naught delay and let the output be y1 of t this y1 of t will be equal to 2 into x1 of t minus t naught because this is the given input delay that is now the input signal becomes this t minus t naught this one is the given equation okay so using this given equation we have found out the output so we have got this output for the input delay now we have to put some delay in output now let there be a delay of t naught at the output and the output is suppose y2 of t so what will happen y2 of t is equal to y of t minus t naught because we have put some delay in output so using the given equation what will have we have to replace t with t minus t naught so using this equation we have to replace this t with t minus t naught so we'll have 2x of t minus t naught so here in this first case we have applied some delay in the input in the second case we have applied some delay in the output okay same amount of delay so what we'll have these two right hand sides so this 
1 is equal to this much. So we have seen that y1 of t is equal to y2 of t. Therefore, the system is time invariant. So for this given system denoted by y of t is equal to 2x of t, this system follows linearity property that is the system is linear as well as it is time invariant therefore we can say that the system denoted by y of t is equal to 2x of t is a lti system or linear time invariant system so in this lecture we have seen what is a linear time invariant system so in brief we have to keep in mind that a system is said to be linear time invariant system if it follows the linearity property that is superposition property or if we break the superposition property into two parts that is superposition property follows the additivity and homogeneity at the same time the system must be time invariant that is the same amount of delay in the input causes the same amount of delay in the output then it is called as the linear time invariant system so as a homework you can check suppose this is example number two suppose if the system is y of t is equal to 2x square of t i am giving you, you as a homework and in the comment section you have to comment if this system is their system or not thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you